having issues with this mainly on the controller aspect I think uh, it's a Kelly controller it's a 400 amp Sepax controller and a running 72 volt system 312 volt batteries on each side the motor is from a forklift it is a uh, 36 volt Sepax motor um, pretty sizable motor I got it running and it seemed to be working properly the wheels would spin up to full speed and everything you know uh, everything appeared normal I took it out and it just had absolutely zero power no power uh, the cart weighs about 600 something pounds with the rider in it that's 141 pounds on each side for the batteries so really if you add it all up the cart is 479 pounds plus a rider so I don't think the weight is the issue I don't think the power is the issue I have the proper size wiring everything is wired correctly the wiring right now the control wiring is sloppy because I I must have redid it 15 different ways with the uh, regenerative braking and all this other stuff and when I couldn't figure it out, I just really disconnected that all. So that's why that all looks so sloppy right now. But I really think it was in my controller. Now the thing is not working at all. Um, it turns on. It doesn't give me an error code. But uh, it will not let me program it. And it doesn't do anything with the wheels. I have a pre-charge resistor in there. I'm aware of blowing things up. So I, I did not do that. There is a, a diode in there to clamp the you know, the, the uh, collapsing field. I had it working, like I said, and then it just gave up for, for no reason. Like I said, it turns on. Uh, when, it, when it did turn on and it worked, at some point, uh, I had these up on the wheel, the cart up on blocks. It would lock the wheel, so I know that the motor was getting current. Uh, and then at, at one point, it went through like a pulsing sensation. Like every second, it was like pulsing the wheels. Not a lot, just to, just you could hear it. It's like, dunk, 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 dunk. I don't know what that is and now like I said it just gave up the ghost so I'm debating on whether I should get another controller but my question is if I do get another controller and I get a sizable one you know is this going to be my problem I, I think I have enough power there I think I have enough power in the motor I think I got the wiring right uh, will this cart do what I want it to do will it have some acceleration um, I would have thought that this controller would have given me more than it had but I read some bad things about Kelly controllers, so I'm trying to sort that out right now. So any input is appreciated. Thanks a lot.